वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अशन वन फ्रॉम द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ हीट एंड थर्मो डायनेमिक्स एंड दॉपिक इज हीट एंड टेम्परेचर सो हियर आई विल बी गिविंग यू ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट हीट एंड टेम्परेचर एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज आई हैव रिटर्न डाउन हियर फोर बुलेट पॉइंट्स विच डिफाइन हीट एंड टेम्परेचर इन ब्रीफ सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट हियर इज टेम्परेचर so temperature is basically a relative term which is used to measure the hotness and coldness of a body and we everybody knows about this basic definition but here there is one term which is called the which is the uh, called the relative term so what is the meaning of this uh, relative term see let us consider that there is an object whose uh, temperature is 102 degree fahrenheit we know that the normal human body temperature is 98.6 degree fahrenheit and let us consider um one more species let us say uh, let us consider the birds the birds have the normal body temperature of something between 104 and, and 105 so let us i am just taking the normal body temperature of bird as 105 degree fahrenheit so this object will be hotter for a human uh, because his or her body temperature is less than the temperature of this object whereas the same object will be colder for a bird because its uh, body temperature is more than the temperature of this object so this is the uh meaning of these two words that is relative term so temperature is a relative term which is used to measure the hotness and coldness of an object and uh an object will be hot for a uh a human body if Uh, the uh, temperature of that uh, object is more than the temperature uh, than the body temperature of human so the body temperature of the human is 98.6 degree fahrenheit so if the temperature of that object is more than this temperature then we will uh, then that object will feel hot to us and if its temperature is less than 98.6 degree fahrenheit then that object will feel cold to us uh let's uh, come to the second point the second point is heat so heat is a form of energy which is transferred uh between two or more systems or between a system and surrounding due to the temperature difference third point the si uh, unit of heat uh, energy is joule and there is one more unit which is called the calorie so one calorie is is equal to 4.18 joule now let's come to the last uh, topic that is the measurement of temperature so the temperature is measured by thermometers now uh, there are basically three types of uh, thermometers which are used for measuring the temperature one is a liquid in glass thermometer second one is the gas thermometer and the third one is the pyrometer so these are basically the three types of uh, the uh, thermometers which are widely used for the measurement of temperature now um, most of the physical properties of a material uh, changes substantially with the change in the temperature so while manufacturing and uh, the thermometers we use the um uh, the, the most commonly used a physical property uh, while constructing the thermometer is the change in the volume of the liquid with temperature and uh, when we uh, construct the thermometers we use uh, two uh, fixed uh, points that is the ice point and the steam point for for the purpose of calibration and what are the uh, these two fixed point what is the ice point so ice point is the point at which the pure water 
freezes at the standard pressure and the steam point is the point at which the pure water boils at standard pressure. The ice point is ice point is equal to 0 degree centigrade uh, and the uh, at standard pressure and this uh, steam point is equal to 100 degree centigrade at the standard pressure. Now, now let us come to these three types of uh, uh, these uh, thermometers and we will be discussing about these three types of thermometers in brief. So let us first of all discuss about the liquid in glass. The liquid in glass thermometers are basically of uh, two types. One which contains the uh, mercury in the glass tube and the other one contains alcohol in the glass tube. The range of this mercury liquid in glass thermometer is from minus 59 degrees centigrade to 350 degrees centigrade approximately because the freezing point of mercury is minus 59 degrees centigrade and the boiling point of mercury is 356 degrees centigrade. So the range of this mercury liquid in glass uh, thermometer is minus 59 to 356 degrees centigrade. For the alcohol liquid in glass uh, thermometer it is minus 115 degrees centigrade to I think 78 degrees centigrade. This is the freezing point minus 115 degrees centigrade is the freezing point of alcohol and 78 degrees centigrade is the boiling point of alcohol. So the range of this alcohol liquid in glass thermometer is minus 115 degrees centigrade to 78 degrees centigrade. Next is the gas thermometer. Gas thermometers. So normally you will find three types of uh, these uh, gas thermometers and they use the gas uh, in the bulb of the thermometer. So it is, it be, uh, so the three type of gases normally used in the gas thermometer are hydrogen, uh, second one is nitrogen and third one is helium. The temperature range of this uh, hydrogen gas thermometer is I think from minus 200 degree centigrade to 500 degree centigrade. The temperature range of this uh, nitrogen gas thermometer is from 500 degree centigrade to 1500 degree centigrade. These are the some of the approximate values which I am just giving it to you here and helium I think it is start it is the range of this helium gas thermometer is from minus 270 degree centigrade to approximately 1500 degree centigrade. Now gas thermometers are more sensitive and accurate uh, in comparison to the liquid in glass thermometers because the uh, gases expand more um, in comparison to liquid for the same temperature difference. Now the accuracy of these gas thermometer thermometers it varies from 0 0.005 degree centigrade to point uh, to approximately 2 degrees centigrade depending on the temperature which we are measuring. For uh, 0 to 100 degrees centigrade the accuracy is 0 0.005 degrees centigrade. And uh, if we are measuring the temperature uh, between uh, 100 to 500 degrees centigrade so this accuracy is approximately 0 
of one degree centigrade. So basically, the uh, accuracy of these gas thermometers depend on the temperature which we are measuring. When the temperature, uh, the temp when the temperature, if the temperature is high, means if we are measuring high temperature, then the accuracy slightly goes down. And if we are measuring this uh, temperature in a smaller means, let us say from 0 to 100 degree centigrade, then the accuracy is much more. So this is, uh, now the accuracy of the gas thermometer is more than the liquid in glass thermometer because the expansion of gas is, um, is more than the liquids for the same temperature difference. So uh, these are the three types of gas thermometers which we normally use that is a hydrogen gas thermometer, nitrogen gas thermometer and the helium gas thermometer and their temperature range is written on this board. For the hydrogen it is minus 200 to 500 degree centigrade, for the nitrogen it is 500 degree centigrade to 1500 degree centigrade and for the helium gas thermometer it is from minus 270 degree centigrade to 1500 degree centigrade. Now the next point is There is an, a very important relation for the conversion of uh, uh, this uh, uh, Fahrenheit into centigrade or centigrade uh, to Fahrenheit. So the formula for the conversion of temperature from Fahrenheit to centigrade or from centigrade to Fahrenheit is given by F minus 32 divided by C upon 9 where F is the uh, temperature in uh, degrees uh, in degree Fahrenheit and C is the temperature in degree centigrade. So this is an, an important formula and with the help of this formula you can convert the temperature in degrees to Fahrenheit or from Fahrenheit to degrees. So thank you very much for uh, uh, yeah one more thing uh, there is one more uh, instrument which is called pyrometer, which is also used to uh, measure the uh, the temperature. But uh, pyrometers are basically used to measure the pyrometers are basically used to measure very high temperature, and uh, they are basically normally used to measure the uh, surface temperature of uh, the you can say the cleans and the furnaces, and. Uh, uh, in the pyrometer uh, uses the uh, uh, the uh, emission the thermal radiations which are emitting from the surface of the body to calculate the temperature of that particular surface. So thank you very much for joining this session and in the next session I will be uh, discussing the ideal gas equation and absolute temperature. So this will, this will be the topic for the next session that is the session number 2. So till then have a nice day. Bye.